I don't get this. The one day I decide to listen to my father and leave the house, this happens. Well, I told him I don't want to come with him over here, but he said it's rude. I need to start coming with him. <sighs> like the old times. I know that we did that when we were little, but I'm older now. If I don't want to come, I don't have to. I don't know why he forces me, it's annoying. Now here we are, stuck in the same room together because it's raining outside. Just my luck. Well, it's just annoying because I didn't even want to be here tonight. But of course, when I finally decide to give in and come over, this happens. And I have something to do tomorrow, I can't be here tonight. It's whatever, I guess you're not the worst person to be stuck with, but it's awkward. <laughs> we haven't seen each other in years. Well, I was a bit nervous. I was thinking, how's it going to be like talking after we haven't in a while? It just felt strange, I guess. I didn't think I'd have to share a room with you tonight. Or bed, for that matter. Ugh. I'm fine sleeping on the floor. Well, it's awkward. How are we going to share a bed together? We're both old oh, now. We can't do that. Yeah, I guess I do have to get over it. I'm just annoyed. Were there no other rooms that I could have took? Yeah, I know they said they were in and they put us together. It just feels weird. What are we even going to talk about? Kind of feels like we're strangers now, doesn't it? <laughs> this rain isn't stopping anytime soon. It keeps pouring and pouring. I know they said there was a weather warning, but I didn't think that it would actually happen. I mean... The weather was, like, changing on the app, so I assumed it wouldn't rain. Or at least not this bad. Not to the point where I can't drive my car anymore. Plus, I can't leave my dad. If he's staying the night, then so do I. I have to. <sighs> I mean, to be fair, I think it's sweet that our dads still talk to each other. And they're still as close as ever. <laughs> But I feel like they want us to be close, too. Like, the same way that we were before. But it's strange, because... It, you know, it's different now. We can't be like that. We're both changed, I guess. And more mature. We're not the same kids we used to be when we played hide-and-seek together. In that treehouse that you built, do you remember? <laughs> it was pretty good. For your first time, actually, it did really good. You impressed me. Did you hear that? Oh, that was a loud one. What? I look nervous? No, I'm not. I'm not nervous. It's just, um... I don't do very well with thunder and lightning. I'm not the greatest friend with those. I really don't like that one. Can you close the curtains? I just don't want to see it. I'm not sure. I... I've always been a little bit scared of thunderstorms. I mean, I find rain soothing, but... The sound of thunder and rumbling is just not... It's not fun. I don't like it. I know I joked about it when we were little, but like, it's true. You know there's always some kind of truth with, you know, behind everything I say. That's just how I am. Could you... maybe... like, give me a cuddle? You don't have to if you don't want to, or if you're not comfortable with it, it's just, 
Uh, I... I really don't like it. Oh, you're doing it right now. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you. It always gets me through when there's a presence with me or just someone that's close. My mom was always the one that did that with me and... Well, she's not here anymore, so... I kind of just had to get through it. <laughs> Try and be a strong woman, I suppose. But it's hard. I'm still a little baby at heart. <laughs> Everyone appreciates cuddles, right? I know. We did used to cuddle a lot. But then again, we were both so young and inexperienced and... I guess we just wanted to, like, try with one another. It still feels as warm as ever and as comforting as ever. What is it? No, it's not that I don't want to share a room with you. I don't have a problem with you at all. It's more kind of my thing, I guess. I, well, ever since I lost my mom, my father's always, he's tried to take her role, kind of, and he's been very protective of me, he doesn't like when I'm alone, or when I'm trying to be an adult, <laughs> he always wants to just watch over me in a way, I appreciate it a lot, but I guess I just want him to know that I'm wise enough and old enough to know now that I know how to take care of myself. Kind of got into an argument before coming here because I was just like sick of him kind of bossing me around. I told him I didn't want to come because I just didn't want to go through the awkward phase. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that again. Yeah, I'm glad you understand. Talking about it with you just feels natural, and I feel like I can talk to you, and it's distracting me from the thought that there's that thunder outside. I really don't like the sound of it. It's just like, sounds like bombs, <laughs> doesn't it? I know, I sometimes try and lighten the mood a bit, but, well, how's everything with you? Anything new going on? You can tell me. Hmm, that's pretty cool. That's what you're working now. <laughs> yeah, you've always liked that, so I'm glad that you're doing something you enjoy. I know, I wasn't expecting you to still be here. I thought maybe you might have moved out or something like that. I had my suspicions, but I'm glad that you're here because now you can help me get through this storm. <laughs> and it might be nice to share that together, I think. You're not going to be weird with me, are you? Okay, good. I just don't want us to feel like weird with one another, because there's no reason to. I'm a light sleeper, so I will notice some things if you, you know, move around a lot, or if you snore. <laughs> Do you? Just a little? <laughs> okay, I think I can deal with that. Maybe we should start getting ready then. I didn't really bring any clothes with me, so... Might just sleep with my underwear, if you're okay with that. Okay, yeah, um... No, I don't mind you sleeping shirtless or anything. You do what you wanna. <laughs> oh, uh, do you mind looking away? It's kinda weird when you're staring at me. <laughs> okay, cool. Sorry, 
Um, why are you looking at me like that? Well, the way that you're looking at me. Do I look weird? Oh. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to compliment my body, but I appreciate it. It's always nice to hear that. I'm just a little bit shy. I don't usually do this kind of thing. <laughs> not unless it's someone I just met, and I probably will not meet them ever again. But you're not like that. It's different with you. Yeah, I would really appreciate that. I don't think the thunder is going to stop anytime soon. It's getting worse and worse, and I hate it. <laughs> So a little bit of your cuddles might really help, kind of, get me through it. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, just kind of gives me anxiety a little bit. Oh, that's nice. Will you stop looking at me like that? I don't know, it's like you're analyzing me or something. <laughs> stop. I know, it's just I get a little bit shy. But should we get in bed? It's getting kind of late. Hopefully if the weather clears up tomorrow, I can go do what I have to. Yeah. Well, as awkward and as nice as this was, <laughs> it went better than I thought it would. Um, we should definitely keep in touch. I think it would be really nice if we went out and stuff like that. We did some fun things together. What do you say? I really want to get to know you better. Now. Like, right now. Yeah. You're just a very gentle, nice person, and I'm really enjoying my time with you. I'm glad now that my dad forced me to come here. <laughs> I guess there's always a good outcome. Yeah. We should probably get some sleep. Oh, you're pulling me close. <laughs> no, I don't mind at all. I actually really like it. Alright. Mm, good night. What? Turn around? <laughs> Why should I turn around? You're just gonna keep staring at me like how you were earlier. It gets me all shy. I don't like it. <laughs> Fine. What is it? You're doing it again. I'm beautiful? <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. That's really sweet of you. Oh. <laughs> That's why you wanted me to turn around? So you can give me a kiss? Well, I like it. Come here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this at all, but... I'm excited. Truth be told, I was really nervous to come here because I wasn't sure how I would be able to face you again without being an awkward mess. Because when you were little, I had the hugest crush on you. Like the biggest crush ever. I even wrote about you in my diary. <laughs> yeah. My mom knew because she caught my diary and she told me that she liked us together. But then I moved away and we never saw each other again. So to see you again, I wasn't so sure how it would be. 
I was so nervous, but I'm so glad that I came. Because now I get to be in your arms and we get to, you know, get to know each other again. It's really nice. I couldn't ask for anyone better to comfort me through a thunderstorm. So thank you. Mm. <laughs> Alright, we should definitely go to sleep. And we're not telling anyone about this, okay? Especially not our dads. Mm-hmm. <laughs>